video will illustrate how to manipulate some of the bit names when you want to copy from one program to another program. So in this scenario we have one machine that's completed and we want to copy this capto clamp unit subroutine from this program to that program. So this is machine one, that's machine two, and I couldn't figure out how to do this uh, in a way that brought everything over just the way that I wanted it. But for instance, uh, if we go into this clap, capto clamp unit here, this is this is the bit. So R16.7, which is the push button on the console, is this, and it's all named properly. It makes sense. And then if you go back to here, and the obvious thing would be to just copy it over. So I'm holding down shift and letting go and poof gets in there. Oh, look, it has a new name. So if you compare the two, this one's ctc.m, this one's sign, or sgn.m. So this is something totally different. It's the same ladder. It has the wrong names, um, which is functional technically, except you won't be able to understand it. So if you're not the guy that copied it over and you don't forget what you did two years ago, like I do, then, then you're going to be totally lost anyway. So let me tell you the fix. So I'm going to undo that. So now it's gone. We have our original program. What I did to fix it was this. So I made a new program with just this in it. So I took this and I copied it over to a blank. And uh, without doing all of the steps, I'll just show you the result. So we're not going to save that. It's still original. Uh, that was machine two. So I took this, copied it over, poof. And then it looks right. It's got all the right addresses, does all the things. Um, then to compile it, you have to give it some stuff to do in subroutine one or level one. And the same thing goes for level two. So I had level two just call this, which is a, a line that you would need anyways when you copy it over. Um, and then you add a sub two and two there. Nothing too crazy there. Then the easy part was export external symbol file next and I call it capto export completed so now we just did this uh, we don't have any errors or warnings then we're gonna go back into this is machine 2 so uh, we didn't change anything in capto so now we have machine two back again. Now we're going to import that file. So we've, to, to recap so far, we have stolen this subroutine from here, copied it in, into a blank ladder, exported it as a uh, symbol file format. Now we're going to import a external file form format and um, Capto. Now, mind you, this is in the same, they don't tell you where this is picking from, but it's in the same base folder as, as where you're at. Then um, you want to merge the symbols given priority to the source. Oh, crap. This is the one I don't remember. Merge symbols giving priority to the external symbol file. That's what you want. So you keep the external, this is the newcomer. And um, we had an ANSI format, finish, poof. Import completed, so it says, hey, the data in the source program is replaced and all of these things. And that's not super helpful, but now you can just copy this over. The latter is correct, but also the names are correct. Yay, that's how it's done. All right, so if any of you have that same problem, this is how you solve it.
Okay, so this is a video to talk about once you get both of the ladders, the capto ladder and the hydraulic pump ladder. Let me show you what I mean by that. Once you get the capto ladder, number 25, and the power pack ladder, number 33, pasted in there with the appropriate names of all of the the bits so the addresses and everything line up right and make sense then the next step is to go into level two and the top of level two is a whole bunch of call subroutines so it's just calling all these subroutines uh, if you go down to number 25 that's capto clamp so um, you take it out of the the example so this is the automated machine this is the the very first original one and then this is retrofit number one for example so i just copied this line and pasted it over there easy peasy same thing here pasted that over um so that part's pretty straightforward but then i got thinking about a new problem that i was pretty sure was going to happen since the old ladder had some of the outputs that we cared about we have to go find the duplicates so, for example, if we're trying to turn on a valve and we're commandeering some other output, that some other output is written somewhere else. So if, if, if the program is running through the ladder, sort of top to bottom, and it meets our line of code that says, turn the output on, and then it cruises down 250 lines later, it finds that same output says that it should be off. And then it reaches the bottom, it sets all the outputs, and then it goes to the top of the rungs, and reads back down to the bottom. So if you turn an output on, it could turn itself off, or vice versa. If you want it off, it could turn itself on. So that's that's the problem that we're trying to solve. And the way that you do this is actually pretty easy. Um, Fanuc calls it a duplicate coil search. Uh, it doesn't tell you that it's a search, but that's what it's doing. You just want to do all, and then it's going to go all the way through and we know that the addresses that we're hunting for are outputs primarily so uh, we're controlling the inputs there's there's only one input doing one thing and I, I guess we could go hunt for other uh, versions of this input to do some other task which could be problematic uh, maybe we go hunt for that elsewhere but for now we're gonna focus on the outputs because those are the most critical and we've got uh, Y11.1 through 7, really. So we've got 8 bits in Y11 that we need to care about. And I'm going to make this bigger. So we've got Y11.1, not 2, but 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 all have problems. And they're all in about rung 300, so we're just going to kind of go to the middle here. And maybe it would be best to go to the top. That's it's fine. Um, but what it is, it's this tool life counter. These are all the bits that we commandeered in this project. So you're going to look for ones that don't look like tool life counter. So here's number one. Bing. Highlight it. Delete it. Say it. Okay. Scroll down some more. There's another one. There's two. So we found one and then two. We're going to go a little further. Capto tool clamp. There's three. Let's double check that that's three. That's three. Delete. Capto tool unclamp. Four. Delete. Hydraulic connector air blow. Five. Delete. Um, there is six and seven. We're going to delete all this, lock, stock, and barrel. Okay, so now let's go back to that last screen we were looking at. Oh, no, this other last screen that we were looking at. Now we need to pay attention to 10.5. Let's see, HPU motor starter. So 10.5, yep, 10.5 has a problem. So uh, we've got P33, which is the uh, uh, power 
pack system. And then there's this one just in the middle of level two. Um, I don't know what that was. Oh, now notice, so it reran the scan and uh, updated everything. And it took away all the ones that we had deleted. So previously, this said uh, servo ready, power pack on. Um, and I didn't add this line. Curiously, um, let's go look at the other one. So this is the same sort of thing, only this time for it to be on, it's got to go through like a whole bunch more steps. So we're going to delete, whoops, we're going to delete this simpler one. Because this isn't the one we added. This was originally in here. And I don't remember what 10.5 used to do, but it it also got commandeered, so we're just going to get rid of it. Um, and then, let's see, is that all? We got all of 11 and 10.5. And we're just going to run... If I click this, it'll do... A refresh. Okay, we got rid of uh, all the Ys except some that were already there. Um, for whatever reason, whoever writes these ladders makes a whole bunch of duplicate coils. Not sure why. That is not a good practice. Don't do that if you want your program to run well and not confuse you to death. But that's, yeah, that is what it is. The, the machines do their job. And it's FANUC ladder, so maybe there's not a good way to do some of the things that want to be done. Okay, so there's that. Now we can manage all of the mm, duplicate outputs that we just placed into our program because of adding the subroutines for the turret retrofit.